Hello everyone, and welcome to my breakdown of Dream Barbecue's newest trailer. I know I'm a bit late to the party, but I wanted to share some hidden details that are sprinkled throughout the first major trailer for Dream Barbecue. This is Lightbox 2, which is focused on things that don't fit on my regular channel, so welcome. I hope you enjoy the video. The first shot of the trailer is a title card, with the quote, I see a lack of conviction in your mind. We see a mouth bound in chains, two purple fish, a camel with a clock as its head, and a humanoid figure paddling from the inside of an envelope. This is the first of a series of quotes we see throughout the trailer. Notice that as the trailer goes on, the background of these quotes become less colorful and more damaged, possibly reflecting Ina's physical and mental state as the trailer progresses. The Ina we see may not be the original Ina we have come to know. In Temptation Stairway, the shepherd calls Ina another Ina troublemaker, hinting at the existence of multiple Inas. We cut to a room full of screens, one showing the head of the character Tasky Maiden, though without her usual smile seen in her other appearances in promotional material. Alongside her is what appears to be a feminine ghost-like character with a fractured face, and an amoeba-like reddish character of dark brown spots, who has also been seen on Joji's Instagram. One of the characters we see appears to be a traditional Japanese mask. We also see a grinning red-haired girl with dark green skin, an older woman with earrings and a hat, and a cat with a red collar who has been seen in Joel G's art on Instagram. We also see the head of an unknown yellow goblin, whose face consists of Japanese kana written on a piece of paper. This character first appeared in the Dream Barbecue game announcement on YouTube. We also see the human face of the unnamed character that appeared in the music preview, The Purge Event by Menorum. The other screens may depict other characters, but they are a bit abstract to tell who they are. We cut to a close-up of the frog entity's mouth, which is in the shape of a carving fork, something that, as you probably know, is often used during barbecues. Then we see this fork reflected on the wall, parallel to Ina's hands. This may be a stretch, but this frog entity may be related to Froggy. Froggy appears to be another possible main character, who is often seen in promotional material alongside Ina. Froggy was stated by Joel G to be based on the character Ganta from the Japanese educational children's show Dekiri Kana. In the show, Ganta is a large anthropomorphic gopher. Joel G draws inspiration for Dream Barbecue from the show as he watched it as a child. Ina's outfit was also stated to be based on the outfit of Nopo, another character from the show. According to Joel G, Ina's hat was originally the same as Nopo's, but it was changed to a cap instead. Here we see a version of Ina with a giant hole through her upper body. This is the most humanoid we have ever seen in Ina, with her having a distinct lack of abstraction. She looks towards a character named Spatulady, which is another nod to tools usually used during barbecues. We know this character's name thanks to her character being credited in the trailer's soundtrack SoundCloud description as Spatulady Soprano, played by Ira Norman. We then cut to a giant holding what seems to be bones, possibly ribs. I'm guessing this is a giant because of its scale in comparison to the mannequins we see it interact with, of which we know are around the same height as Ina. We then see a third version of Ina, whose skin has turned a dark green color and whose face has begun to fracture. She is also notably missing her arms. Here we see another quote, how unusual for you, featuring what appears to be Ina's megaphone from the game announcement, a walking suitcase, a framed picture of a headless dress shirt, and three knives and a paperclip. Here, Ina seems to try and negotiate with the frog through the shadows, a form of communication much different from the banter we usually see between characters and Ina. In the next shots, we see Ina struggling, slowly crawling towards the spatula lady, flying around her legs in anguish, and with purple and blue fluid leaking down her face and into her eyes. This purple and blue fluid has been seen dripping off her face in other promotional material, and in these depictions, her face's physical appearance has been heavily altered. Here we see the final quote of the trailer, let's put that dead meat in its place. The background behind this quote is notably less colorful and more damaged in comparison to previous shots, showing a foreboding sense of darkness and possible danger. My theory is that this quote is coming from the frog entity itself, reflected in how it reacts to Ina's gestures in the following shot. As Ina's right hand reaches forward in the shadows, and as the music reaches its climax, the frog entity's shadow morphs into a revolver pistol pointed at Ina. This may be what causes the large hole in Ina's body, but it could also be what causes her face to fracture and leak fluid. It's tricky to determine the exact timeline of events. Here we see the character Coral Glasses, whose name we know thanks to concept art and her appearance on Georgie's merchandise store. We see Coral Glasses in front of a red sea, which we first saw in the Dream Barbecue game announcement. This sea also appears in a later shot in the trailer, in which mannequins fall into it. 
Here we get a peek in an area which is seen another two times in the trailer, which consists of bluish grey tiles with another orange world as its ceiling. We also see this purple character holding what looks to be a lantern run away from the player. We see gameplay with Ina holding a shotgun, retrieving a tip from what looks to be the outside of an abandoned restaurant. Again we see Tusky Maiden, who is upset at the player, wearing a dark green aguayo which appears to hold her two unnamed companions. This looks to be the ceiling of an area we see in a later shot in the trailer, based on the grey ship which we see in both scenes. Here, we see Ina retrieving her right arm from what looks to be some sort of ticket booth, featuring a hole of an ominous purple eye. We then cut to multiple different areas of gameplay, first to a room full of characters with blank faces, notably wearing stereotypical German outfits, who disappear once the player approaches them. Then we see what looks to be a dance floor, a stereotypical wizard character, then to a shot of the player walking across spines, falling through a white void, and finally, returning to the room we saw at the beginning of the trailer. As a single flower falls, the room glitches out and reveals a cloudy, barren landscape behind Ina. Then, we have the motif from Backroom Labyrinth by Oliver Buckland. First we're in an extinction party. This is a really interesting callback to one of the more well-known soundtracks in Ina. We see anthropomorphic goats wearing what appears to be yukatas, holding flowers in their mouths, then a world scene recreated from Mizu Wolf's concept art, which was originally a birthday gift to Joel G, to a world built entirely out of computer keys. We cut to humanoid Ina holding a training dummy, where her mouth is emitting the same glow as the hole in her chest, to mannequins falling into a red sea, then to a fractured Ina struggling on the ground as bullet casings rain from the sky. The final shot of the trailer is Ina pointing her finger at the camera, firing a bright flare from the weapon behind her as flowers rain from the sky. The soundtrack of this trailer was called Animoia, which means the nostalgia for a time you've never known. The album art of this song shows three versions of Ina, from regular Ina, to humanite Ina with a large hole in her body, to fractured Ina, leaking purple and blue fluid. And that is my breakdown of the latest trailer for Dream Barbecue. The trailer was amazing, from the soundtrack to the animation, and was packed with many hidden details. Many thanks to the Ina Wiki for helping me find secrets that I missed. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to wish this the game on Steam.